everybody. Um, my name's Rachel Hunter and I'm the designer of the Risty Poncho, which you'll find in the Shetland Wool Week Annual 2022. Here it is. Um, my inspiration uh, for this uh, particular design um, so it first came to my mind when we when I was in Fula, an island of Fula, west of Shetland, uh, for a family holiday last year. And um, it was just great to see all the the, the fuller sheep we in in their natural colours and their array of natural colours and uh, obviously they've got the full of wool in fuller and I was just really keen to, to showcase all, all the different uh, colours that um, that they have uh, in the fuller wool uh, collection. I also was keen to try and design something that um, um, you know, took its inspiration from the traditional Shetland harps, but kind of updated it and made it a bit more modern, uh, you know, for, for modern wear. Um, so, you know, traditionally you would have the sort of plain centre in the harp, uh, what they call the riggies in the centre, and then you would have uh, the, the old shell border um, uh, around the, the outside. Um, so, so just trying to update that uh, design. The construction actually is quite simple. It's it's basically a, a rectangle unit, a rectangle back and forth, um, and then um, you, what you do is you is you um, pick up uh, stitches along the long uh, edge of the poncho, and then you knit a, a, a lace old shell border. Uh, and the border is, is quite simple. Um, it's it's even though it looks quite complex, it's it's just uh, uh, mainly knitted garter stitches again with some yeah yarn forward uh, or wool forward and knitting two together to get the lace stitches and just using a, a variety of different colours. Um, the good thing about the border is that because every row here is probably only about sort of two to three grams of wool, then you can. Um, you can use your odds, uh, oddments a, a yarn that you have around your house in your stash, uh, so you don't have to go out and buy uh, new uh, uh, balls of yarn if you if you don't want to. Um, so that's the construction, and and obviously um, once you've done that, you would you you simply just um, you, you you leave a hole for your for your, for your head and your shoulders to get through, but then you 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 basically sew up at the edge here uh, so that uh, it, you can it can fit over your shoulder. Um, pom poms. I used to put pom poms on the end, and I did them really quite simply using you know, hundred, hundred wraps around the fork, um, so just to get them all the same size, and they help kind of pull down the, the the peaks of the old shell pattern. So um, I really um, hope that you you feel inspired to try uh, a Risti poncho. Uh, it's not as hard as it looks, believe me, and uh, um, uh, and uh, I'll hopefully see some of your creations online. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.